Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I thought I would do a little clean with me. I'm just going to clean a few rooms. This is literally just a basic sort of clean I'll do, say, every few days. So I'm going to do like the living room, probably a bit of the kitchen. I need to do Nelly's room and our room. So it'll probably be like four rooms on the clean. And I'll just show you some of the products that I've been using lately that I'm really liking. And yeah, just show you how I clean those four rooms. Okay, so this is the lounge. So this is obviously what a toddler does to your house. <laughs> okay, so obviously there's all toys out, there's blankets, nothing's organised, there's things all on the table. So what I like to do first of all is I'd like to put everything in its right place. So I always pick the toys up, put the blankets away, I move all the cushions out of the way of the sofa clear everything that's not supposed to be in here i'll put that on the stairs ready to go up or down put it away in the rooms so that's what i'm going to do first of all and then i like to start cleaning okay so yeah i'm just gonna pick up all the toys that are out i'm actually gonna need to organize the toy little section because ross put all the toys away and he never puts them away how I like it. I don't mind, I just let him do it and then the next day I'll sort it all out. It's just because I like to have them a bit organised and a bit OCD like that. So, yeah, so just, there's not many toys out because I have been tidying up as I've been going along today. Let me just move you a bit closer. Okay, so with these toys, I we have like some down here and then we have a lot of her toys upstairs but I just like alternate them so every week or so I'll what she's playing with mostly we will have down here but we haven't got like a lot of space for her toys down here we need to actually I think get look into getting some more storage so they do actually end up just getting bunged in these boxes but they get bunged in in a certain sort of way for me so these like she's got a lot of like birthday bits that she's been playing with so like these shoes they we just go upstairs because she's got some other shoes in there he actually didn't do too bad when he was organizing them she's obsessed with all of these balls she's got about 20 balls Right, so that just looks a bit more tidier. So now I'm just going to finish up packing all the little bits away that need packing away. And then I'll start cleaning. So all these cushions on the sofa, I like to just plump them up before moving them off it then just saves me the job when I'm sorting the sofa out. So I just put all of the cushions onto my little puffet, ready to just be sprayed. And that way, when I spray the actual sofa with like fabric freshener or whatever I choose to use that day, the whole sofa gets it as well not just the tops of the cushions. Okay, so that's moved out of the way. I need to actually pop all of our birthday blooms. So I'm gonna do that quickly now as well. going to clear everything off of the radiator cover because I need to just dust it down and dust all the items on there because I feel like where the heat comes off of there it creates like a lot of dust so I like to do that every few days
Right, so now I think I can actually start cleaning. Um, I just need to move, oh, I need to move this slide back to the garden. Okay, so now everything is cleared. So I now can start cleaning. So first of all, I'll just sweep all of the floor just to get any crumbs, any crisps, whatever is on the floor from the day. So I'll start off by doing that. So I'll do that right now. Okay, so now I've swept all the floor, I'm now going to start by puffing up the sofa. So we have got our sofa, The these ones are foam. But the back ones, I think they're like feather filled. I'm not 100% sure. So they always need like battering basically. So they look full again. So I'm now going to do that now. Probably be a bit of a laugh for you to see me battering the sofa. all paved I'm gonna use my so this is right let's see if you can see it better the Fabulosa foam freshener this is the gold touch scent this is honestly really really nice so I spray this all over the sofa first of all This just gives the room such a nice scent. So you can use this on carpets, upholstery, and just as a room freshener. So it is really nice. I think it's like 99p. Okay, now I'll put all of the cushions back on the sofa and then I'll give them a spray too. Now give them a little squirt of the foam freshener. And I'll just put the throw back on the side. Okay, so that's all the sofa done. Um, we have got a little pothe as well that we normally just have like in the middle of that space there. But I just leave that there until I finish mopping the floors and stuff. So once it's all done, I'll show you like the whole room. Okay, so now I'm just going to start with like dusting everything. Um, I literally just go around with everything and just give it a little dust. So I'll do that now. I'll probably do this like on a time lapse. Okay, so now everything is dusted, I'm now going to start actually cleaning. So what I'll do is, in this bottle here, I've got Sephora, and this is, I can't actually remember what scent this is, Country Gardens Flora. So I'm going to start by spraying everything down that I would use this on, you'll see like what I'll use this on. And just give it a wipe down after dusting so then that disinfectants of the area so i just use a white cloth i like to use a white cloth because i can actually see the dirt come up and yes yeah, so i'm going to quickly do that so first of all just do like the radiator cover and where you get like the dust off of it already It's quite a easy clean to be honest. You've literally just got to go over it. Also try and get the radiator as well. So then that makes when you've got the heating on, it makes it all smell lovely too. It's 
so then I'll just quickly go over the lamp as well, like where I've dusted this. I just spray the actual cloth for this and just give it a nice wipe over. Now I'm just going to do these two mirrors. these mirrors when people say to me oh my god they're gonna be so hard to clean but honestly they're fine I probably clean them about twice a week and I think that's why maybe where I do it little and often you then don't have to do it a lot it's not like a hard job when you do it so now I'm just gonna do little side table just give that a squirt of flora and just wipe it all down and also the lamp as well normally on objects like say the lamp or the light I always will spray it on the cloth first okay I always do the table last because that's got all like my cleaning products and that on I'm um, just trying to think, I'll probably just give the high chair a quick wipe down as well while I'm here. Bits of food in there. <laughs> Lovely. This I have to do at least like every day. Maybe sometimes twice a day. I like to do it on the evening and then on her nap time. Just because then for like her next meal or something. Okay, so obviously I'm going to do the table last. Round and shine everything up to say the mirrors. What I'll do is I'll actually show you like how, what I use on the mirrors. So obviously I've dusted the mirrors down first of all. And then I've sprayed them with Zaflora and just wiped them down. So at the moment they're looking, if you can see, but pretty smeary. I always like struggled on how to clean mirrors properly like but then i found this and this is honestly i know minky do a version as well i haven't actually tried the minky version but i've heard it's like really really good but this is just a home bargains glass cloth and this literally like my best friend when it comes to anything shiny like mirrors and my microwave is mirrored as well like the telly i just wipe it over but on the mirrors i do use the this is white wine vinegar in here. It's only in this bottle just because my other one broke. So I use white wine vinegar, just spray it all over the mirror and then just buff it all in with this glass cloth. So you'll see, sometimes I would wipe down, yeah, sorry. First of all, I'm gonna wipe down the Zaflora off the mirror with a kitchen roll and then I'll go in with white wine vinegar and the glass cloth just cause I don't like mixing the products. So I'll do that quickly now. It's also we'll just like pick any dust up that you've left behind. Might actually have it on there. I always can't reach that top bit, so Ross always has to do that for me. Otherwise, I get on a chair. Okay, so now I'm just going to go in with the white wine vinegar and the glass cloth. I would say these glass cloths have to be dry for them to actually work and be effective. So normally, sometimes, say after these two mirrors, I normally would change the cloth to do like the table and the side table if they're really wet, because they don't work as well. 
but you still would get the smears if there were. I just find it so satisfying. Now I always have to do like the little light test, so I'm <laughs> always looking in all the lights, see if there's any smears, like that one's fine, so I'll now do the other one. perfect all sparkling clean so now i'm just going to do the little side table the same and anything shiny so i'll quickly just zoom this through as well done i'm now going to put like the things back on the radiator cover and just give them a quick wipe over and dust and the frame that i have on there i'll just clean with the photo album and the candle back and then i do the table so i'm going to quickly just zoom through this and with the glass table one thing that i did want to actually talk about is how i would clean my glass table because it always gets loads of fingerprints on. It's probably one of the most worst mistakes we made getting a glass table with a toddler. But I found this new spray. One, it smells amazing. And two, it gets off all the marks. And then you go in with the white wine vinegar and the glass cloth. And it comes up as good as new. So instead of using the Sephora on that, sometimes I'll do the Sephora, wipe that off, then this wipe that off then the white wine vinegar just so it disinfectants the area as well so that's what i will be doing today so yeah quickly do that and do all those bits i'm going to quickly zoom through that and then i'll talk through cleaning the floors Okay, so I've now cleaned the table. So literally the last job now would be to quickly clean the skirting boards. So for that I use, not this, this has just got a fabric softener and warm water. So I just use that with a cloth, just go around, so I've already dusted them, so just go around with kitchen towel and this and just clean them off. And then I then mop the sweep again and then mop the floors. So to mop the floors, I've been using the Flash uh, French Natural Soap. Again, like the Flash bottle of spray. I've been using that to clean the floors. And it's been working really well and I really love the smell of it. So that's what I'll be using today as well. So I'm going to quickly mop the floors and this room will all be done. Okay, so the living room is now all clean exactly how I like it. Um, I actually feel like that is a workout, isn't it? Every few days when I do that, obviously I do like cleaning every day, but every few days I like to do it properly like that. And even sometimes I do a bit more than that, like clean all the lights and all things like that as well. The curtains, I'm actually out of breath. <laughs> yeah, so I'll show you now, obviously, it all together just so you can have a look. And then I always like to finish off with either a wax mill or these are, they're called like fizzers, I think they're called. And this is the yellow Lenore scent. So it smells really, really nice. So I'll just leave that to burn. So see all the toys are all sorted. I know that does look a mess, but nothing you can do with when you've got a child. The table, excuse the frames in the corner. They've honestly supposed to have gone up for months and Ross still hasn't done it so still waiting wonder how long how many clean with me's will I be doing and they'll still be there honestly driving me mad okay the little side table normally I'd like my candle as well one of the candles as well because I've got that and it's really strong I didn't do that and obviously the sofa is all clean mirrors all clean and the radiator cover and light so yeah that's it all done, all together. All lovely and fresh, ready for the evening. So I'm now going to quickly go and 
do the bedroom just gonna go over it really nothing too major i always say that and then i always end up doing loads to it but i just need to like make the bed so i haven't done that today I normally do that in the morning but just been busy doing other bits and pieces so we need to make the bed clean the floors and just wipe everything down really just give it a little bit of a dust okay so now up in the bedroom and a lot more needs doing than i thought where ross is working from home at the moment he's working in the bedroom because that's where our computer is until we sort one of the spare rooms out for where i'm going to be doing like my filming and editing so until we sort that out if the computer is just in here just on my dressing table so that all needs a clean but yeah there's so much on the bed just where i'm picking everything up putting it on the bed so i'll quickly show you the bedroom there's still loads that needs to be done to the house and the bedroom uh we need to like get a new blind we need to get still loads of little bits we need to do we still haven't finished the wardrobes basically these were bright red before these wardrobes and we painted them white but we've got one handle excuse the hanger one handle on and the rest are not done another typical ross actually that was me because ross said to me why don't we just super glue them and i was like do you know what yeah let's do that so i super glued that one and these all need sanding down and we've never got round to actually doing it they're all on the drawers but not actually on there so yeah so the bedroom is currently this is the situation so the bed's not made at all we've got uh, these are just like the cleaning products i've brought up to clean the room random hangers on the bed i've got a bag of washing there that needs to be put away next bag of shopping that needs to be sorted and these are what happens to the cushions every night they just get bunged there this little setup is okay and Ross's death gifts that I need to sort out and put away. So yeah, I'm going to do that all now. First of all, I like to clear the bed, get everything off the bed and make it. So that is what I'm going to do first of all. So now to make the bed. Does anyone else's partner always the sheet on his side, Ross's side, always comes off? Every single day, basically, I'm putting the sheet back on. This is just a bed spread that I like to just put over the bed. This is just from Ikea. It's like a, do you know, it reminds me of the ones you get on holiday. But it's not as itchy as the ones you get on holiday. Right, so I'll quickly just speed through this. This is just literally new made for the bed. <laughs> unstoppables you only see this and you can only buy this in america um i'm not sure about any other countries but in america this is you can't buy it here basically in the uk but in america um, my brother-in-law went and he picked this up and honestly the smell is insane he got me two blue ones and one pink and i literally love them and we're back yeah so that's all the bed made now i'm just going to sort out the desk area and then all i need to do is just dust everything down and then clean the floors so now i'm going to do that i'll bring you over so obviously the bed's all made they're just like little cleaning products i absolutely love sorry i'm just because <laughs> you're on the tripod i'm just lifting you up so i love a made bed there's nothing better it makes you feel so much better and i feel like the room even if the bed is made then you feel like the room looks tidier than it is 
Okay, so yeah, just gonna do this little desk area. I can actually sit down for this. I've just got my Sephora kitchen roll. I've got these multi-purpose wipes. It's just I always clean um upstairs. It's just easier to bring these than bring like loads of different cloths and all things like that. So normally I even suddenly clean the floor with these or clean the windows and things like that. So this is my, I didn't actually talk to you about this duster. This is the Minky High Tech Duster, I think it's called. I'll link all these cloths below if I can. I think I'll be able to from like the Minky website or just my white cloths and my glass cloths from Home Bargains. But if I can link anything, I'll always try and link it below for you all. But yeah, this is the high tech duster. After you like, I use it around the house. I will then shake it off into the bin, and then I'll put it in the wash, and it washes at a forty degree wash. But honestly, it's really, really good. So it doesn't get thick with dust. I think I don't know how, but it's like really thick and fluffy. So yeah, I'm gonna just dust down all of this. Okay, now I'm just going to quickly clean the mirror and then that is that area done. And then literally all I need to do is clear this little section here. It's got again two frames that have been waiting to go up for ages. They need to be put up so they just get left there until Ross actually decides to put them up for me. And there's Nelly's drawing that just needs to be put away. And then it's just literally just to be swept and mopped in here. And then it's all done. I did say I'm not going to do like a really deep clean in here. Because I did it like a day or two ago now. So it's just literally things that need to be. So it's then yeah just literally things that need to be gone over. And then I'm going to just go down and do the kitchen with you all. With the kitchen I think I just need to wash up. Wipe the sides down. So it's not a deep clean again. But I just thought while I'm doing it today. Instead of not filming at all. I thought I would film to just get some extra content out there for you all. Okay, so that's the bedroom all done. So I've finished mopping the floors, and now I'm just going to go and do the kitchen. And then everything is all clean. Actually, when Nelly wakes up, I'm going to go over her room a little bit as well. So I'll show you. Her room is actually trash. Where we've been home so much, she's been like just playing in her room, getting toys out every five minutes. So I normally do that of an evening before putting her to bed, but I'll do that once she wakes up just so I can show you all. I'm in the kitchen and I just literally need to wash up, put a few bits away, put washing on and wipe the sides down. So I'm gonna do that. I'll probably just soon pass the washing up because no one wants to actually see me washing up. And yeah, then I'll have a chat with you about what I use, what products I use on the sides and the tiles and um, all the glass bits in here as well. Okay, so first of all on the sides, I like to use the flash spray. Uh, this is the natural French soap scent again. Honestly, it smells so lovely. I'm sure like you will really like it as well. And then after that, I then go in just with the flora, just to like completely disinfect the sides as well as removing all the dirt. So I just do this section with a minky. So I just got the pink love heart minky. I absolutely love that because it goes with the kitchen. And then this I'll just use with either kitchen roll or my fab cloth, depending on the day, to be honest, just whatever I pick up. And I've just got the kettle boiling, and this is for a Zaflora steam. So after I've done everything, I like to put some Zaflora. I normally put it in like a glass vase and put the Zaflora at the bottom, pour the hot water, and it just makes the whole room smell really lovely. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna do now. And then after that, that's literally like the last sort of thing. Sometimes I'll like like a wax melt as well, and then literally just cleaning the floors.
lash I then just go in with the Sephora spray I just give this a quick spray on all the kitchen sides leave that for a few minutes so it can work to do its magic so yeah just leave that for a few minutes and then I'll completely wipe that all over and then yeah just do my Sephora thing Today the Sephora scent I'm going to be using will be Country Garden just because that was in my spray bottle so it just all smells the same so I'm going to pour that in now let's see if I can do this one handed that's it okay yeah so I'm just going to pour this in now a nice amount in and then we get the kettle obviously this just makes the whole kitchen smell lovely so I just normally fill that up halfway I'm actually doing two because I'm doing one for the bedroom as well I like to do this in the kitchen in the lounge, in the bedroom, bathroom, anywhere really, the whole house I like to do like Sephora steam. Yes, yeah, so I'm just gonna, I forgot I need to put a wash on, so I'm gonna do that now and then just clean the floors and then that's all done. So to mop the floors I've been using the Flash Floor Cleaner, the Natural French Soap Scent and I will listen to this with one hand, yeah. So I've literally just pour a nice amount into the mop bucket, just straight in, wait for the kettle to boil and then just pour that in and then just mop all the floors with that. so today is another day and I just was editing the video and I realized that I hadn't done an outro for you all and I just thought I'd quickly pop on the camera and do one for you so I hope you all enjoyed the clean with me I haven't obviously done one of those before um, so I hope you all liked it it's just basically what I do and what I clean I know obviously I'm not a professional cleaner and obviously everyone cleans differently but I just wanted to get a bit more extra content out for you and because I love cleaning I thought I would just show, share it with you all just wanted to say if you haven't already subscribed like if you're new here please please subscribe it makes the world of difference and please like the videos and comment it just really means the world to me so thank you all so much thanks for watching and look forward to the next video bye